welcome to this little flower tutorial. I'm Tess from Sisters in Stitch and I will be guiding you through this lovely little four round flower that is called the Forget-Me-Nots. And it's a really quick make, it's only four rounds, fine with the bonus round and a lot of fun. So grab your tools and meet me up for the materials, okay? Let's begin! To make the forget-me-not flower, all you need is two sets of yarn, a hook that goes with it, a scissor and a needle. That's it! So I got my color A, which is this lovely creamy one that will be the center of my flower. And then I'm beginning with a magic circle. You can of course choose a chain start if you want to, but I find these easier to work with. So we begin by chaining one and this is our first half double crochet of six. So we are making five half double crochets on top of this into the circle. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have six. <laughs> so don't do anything more. Then we simply pull down our little thread back into the ring and tighten. And to close this round, we simply do a slip stitch into that chain one that we did. So just count backwards if you're unsure. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the loop that we're going in. like that and that is round number one so finish that and meet me up for round number two so for round number two i simply raise my loop and work a standing double crochet you can also do a chain two or three to the height of a double crochet and then I go directly back into the stitch and work another double crochet. So you should have two double crochets in that first stitch. Let's see, there we go. And then we're chaining one. And then in the next stitch, we work two double crochets and the chain one. So this is the repeat. Just working one and two. into a stitch and divide them by a chain. So you will end up with 12 double crochets with, or six sets of two double crochets and a, um, <laughs> a chain stitch in between that separates them. So this is just what you do all the way around. Just creating this little center. And I'm just gonna see how many I have done after this one. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one more set to go. Don't forget the chain one in between. And here is the last one. So one, two, and chain one. And then we are going to close this round. I will do it by doing an invisible join to the second stitch, but you can also, of course, do a slip stitch and then hide your ends. Whatever works for you. Okay, so do that and meet me up for round number three. So we are ready for round number three. And I'm just doing a slip knot here on my hook with the color B yarn which is this lovely pearly pearl kind of color, pearly pink. <laughs> so you can begin in any chain one space around here that separates the two double crochets and just do a single crochet. We are creating the base for our pedals here. So we are going to chain four, three and four, and then going right back into the same chain space, creating this little loop here that we will be placing our pedals in. Then we are skipping the double crochet and in between the stitches, not in the stitch, but in between the stitches, 
we are working a single crochet like that and then we're skipping the next double crochet too so this is the repeat I will do two more with you okay so work a single crochet chain four a single crochet into the same space skip the next double crochet and work between the stitches which is here not up there work a single crochet skip the next double crochet and one more time so single crochet chain four single crochet back into the same space there we go tighten skip the double crochet work between the stitches a single crochet and skip the next so do that for the remaining spaces and meet me up to close here okay well done and welcome back so to close this round i have just finished my last single crochet between the double crochets and i'm just simply going to work a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round so what we will do now for round number four is we're continuing on with the same yarn you can cut the thread and begin if you want to if you think that's neater but i think this will work just as fine so we are going to do a standing double crochet in the chain four space so either chain two or three or work a standing one like me and then we're doing seven more double crochets into this chain four space so one two three four five six seven and eight there we go we have one two three four five six seven eight double crochets in total so we are chaining one and then working in this middle single crochet we're skipping the next single crochet but in this one we are making a half double crochet a really tight one so just tighten it properly and then we are chaining one skipping the next single crochet and working eight double crochets into the next chain four space so one two three four five there we go six seven and eight chaining one and skipping the next single crochet working around this single crochet make a half double crochet and tighten and chain one and so on so i will show show you one more time and then i think you can finish off by yourself here so one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> chain one skip the next single crochet and work a half, tight half double crochet around this one so you're going in around the entire stitch and not just in the stitch okay and then chaining one and it will be a little bit wobbly and stuff but that is the purpose of making the flowers a little bit more alive and the petals should be curving so don't worry about that just keep on over here and I'll meet you up to finish off this round okay good luck well done you are almost finished now I have chained one I'm gonna work my last half double crochet here in the second single crochet tighten and then just chaining one and then I'm going to grab a scissor 
cutting the end. And then I'm simply going to use an invisible join to close this up. So I'm not going into the fake double crochet, but to the first real double crochet of this round. And just doing an invisible join. So I think I will do it like that actually. There we go. And now I'm just gonna hide the ends here and then we are actually finished. Isn't this the quickest little flower? <laughs> It works out really really fast and I love that you can use it with so many different types of yarns and fibers you can use it for wool acrylic cotton it's just one of those lovely makes so we are actually finished with the flower now but if you want to do that extra little va va voom um, round I'll show you how to okay So it's actually finished now. We have weaved in our ends and it looks adorable. If you want to add a little extra to it, it's always fun to keep crocheting right, you can just do like I do now. You can take your color A and work surface slip stitches around the center here. So I will just enter my hook in between some of the half double crochets from round one. Just grabbing the loop from behind do you see I'm not I'm not having it on while I go in but I have it on here soon <laughs> there we go and I just bring it up to the front leaving the knot if possible on the back side you can always use a little finger here to grab it and then I just work normal st slip stitches Going back in, grabbing the yarn and pulling it up. You see it just connects around. So just go down and grab the yarn and do so for all six, no, for five of the half double crochets. Okay, so three, four, and you're going right in between them just five. And there we go. And then I think I might actually do one more because it looks a little bit, or should I just, okay, no, we do like that. We have five, five surface slip stitches around the center. And then we just cut the thread with a little bit of extra to work with, pull up a loop and I'll show you how to do this. Really, this is going to be a fake <laughs> a fake surface slip stitch to end it okay so it closes really neatly so what I do we have skipped one surface slip stitch here and I'm just taking my needle and going through the first loop and the second loop of the first surface slip stitch so just go under those do you see here's the first little bar and then go back into the last surface slip stitch that you made and through to the other side so when you now tighten you see a fake little surface slip stitch so you can tighten the first end and then your second end and then you are done so I'm just gonna weave in the ends and show you how it looks okay so we have finished our little flower I hope you had fun I hope you learned something new and as you can tell we have quite a lot of yarn left so this really is a scrap yarn project so what can you now do with your little flower you might wonder well you can use it as it is just for decorations or in your pictures or just add a little tiny ribbon to it and use it as a little um, <laughs> bracelet or maybe tie it around a vase or your napkins or just have fun with it make it into a bunting or or just enjoy it as it is a quick little make so i hope you have had fun i hope we will meet up for the next tutorial too and please subscribe and give us a thumbs up see you next time bye